1969, females were able to join FFA. Now nearly 50% of all FFA membership consists of women. In 1965, African Americans were able to join and become members of FFA. Now, all of this wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for those amazing national delegates who voted and made it so that women and people of cultural diversity could come and be a part of this outstanding organization. Hello, my name is Annika Niles, and I'm an African-American woman. I come from a mixed family and a non-ag-related background. To me, our association's values and beliefs are spoken through the FFA motto, which focuses on career readiness, leadership development, and hands-on learning. A lot of people believe that in order to succeed or to be involved in FFA, you must come from an agricultural background. But I chose not to let that stop me from getting involved. I have grown as a leader by serving as my chapter's vice president my sophomore year, and now, I'm going to be the new Merced Mariposa sectional president this upcoming year. I felt welcome when I went to my first FFA meeting and it is my number one priority to make sure that new members feel the way that I did. I've become more career ready by having the amazing opportunity of serving on my veterinary science CDE team and becoming a regional finalist for Prepare Public Speaking. By being a delegate, I will make sure that I represent California FFA in the best way possible. And I will make sure that I vote for our association's values and beliefs. Thank you.